כן, נתיבות שלום על התורה, פרשת ויצא, and we're going to do עקודים, נקודים וברודים. There is a... Oh, and I want to dedicate it again to the success of the Israeli army, the IDF, all the chayalim, and for the refuaf, all the ones that got injured, hurt, all the Jews, for the hostages, the kidnapped, to return home safely, and that the Hamas and all the, all the ones that are called Sonenu Voivenu should be eliminated Lealtar uh, Ubemeyadi. Amen. In the Akudim, Nekudim, and Brudim, it says, Kayadua Leodechem, it's known to the one that knows the secret. It's the secret of the secret and the, all the secret of the Torah including in that. Oh, I think it's self-explanatory. Velav kol mocha savil da la vina. Explain it to us. Yeah, if I would know, if I would know it. Velav kol mocha savil da la vina. And he said that not, not, not every brain can have the ability really to understand. That's it. So forget about trying to understand it. Vayem besfarim akdoshim be'er Avraham. So he says in the book of be'er Avraham, she kotev al zeh, she he write, that these are the secret of the Torah, and so it's infinite, and who can uh, grasp them? Now, the whole thing with the Akudim, the Kudim Ubudim, is when Yaakov Avinu went to Lavan, and he said, okay, I want to go back to my home with my wives and kids, and, uh, you know, you were, uh, you didn't pay me well. So now let's do this deal, right? And he separated all the, uh, the, the sheep and the goats, and he said, all the ones that will have uh, uh, spots, straps, whatever, I don't know, stripes, whatever they, they are, right? Um, I'm going to, to, to keep them, right? So he took only the white one. And Laval was thinking to himself, <laughs> from white and white will be white, right? But uh, Yaakov Avino did the first, first I think, uh, gene or DNA manipulation with, the, uh, with these uh, sticks that he put where they used to go to, to, to drink, and then they started to mate, and then guess what happened, right? He had akudim, 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 right? So on the pshat, it's the uh, the type of sheep and the goat that have a pattern on the on the, on the fur, on the skin, or whatever you want to call it. Okay. So here it says in the Be'er of Ram, and Timot Shalom said that it's the secret of the secret, nobody can really understand. However, we're still going to learn it, right? So he said, It's a hint for the derech avodat Hashem, how we can serve Hashem based on what, what we just mentioned here. And he said, he explained that Chilat Avdud, the beginning of, uh, of our slavery, uh, it's like it's in a general thing in the level of emuna and faith. How, how can you actually become a servant to Hashem? First, you need to acknowledge there is Hashem. If you don't acknowledge there is Hashem, you're not his servant, right? So first is faith, to believe that there is a creator to the world, is filling the entire universe. So is everywhere, right? There is no place without Hashem. And that first, that this is the first foundation, this faith for us, that we're obligated to hold. Constantly, Hashem created the world. Hashem created the world like a, like a mantra. Like we always keep remembering that. As I said, Marana Kadosh Bekuvin is a chutor again and anu and met veemuna. Right? So we say in the uh, in the in the tefila, right? After Kriyat Shema, after accepting Omer Chut Shemaim, we said met veemuna chok velo yavor. Right? It's true. It's a chok. It's a law. That's it. There's nothing. Nothing will be able to to change it. He wanted to say kol amidot. Right, they obligated to chiyuv ha'istamshut b'hem u'lefchina u'lefi bechinat adam b'avodat Hashem yibarach fi adam. So all the midot we obligate to to use them, and they are according to how we're going to serve Hashem. Sometimes we need to use a midah of emet, sometimes midah of emun, amuna, etc., etc. Right, but the midah of emet and emuna, right? Sometimes we have uh, I don't know like uh, 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 excitement. Sometimes we have uh, inspiration, whatever. But emet ve'emunah, truth and faith, we never, we, we are not, we're not allowed to stop from that. Always we have to have clarity in our faith. And we shouldn't move from that, that faith that Hashem created the world. That's it, very simple. And if He created the world, then everything else will, will, will fall in. 
And this is hinted in the Teva, in the word Akudim, which is like Akud, right? What is Akedat Yitzchak? It's something that is tight, tight together, infused, infused in one God, Akud Be'elechad, that our faith is like one with Hashem. And that's the context of Akudim. And from that, from Akudim, when we are tied to one Shem, cleaving to one Hashem, then we're coming to the Nekudim. Nekudim, it's like a spot, a Nekuda, right? And that's a hint for the Nekuda Talev, like the, 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 the small little spot that we have in our heart, which means that the faith that we have should also dwell in our heart. That we should have that, that emotion of the faith of Demuna, which is a, a little bit higher than the level of faith, because if somebody gets to a faith from his second, from his wisdom, is saying, oh, one on one is two. It's impossible that one cell will divide himself and suddenly it will become a man, blah, blah, blah. For, for sure there is a shame. Okay, but his brain can deceive him. But the emunah that comes from the heart, from the emotion, emotion, that's a higher level from that. And then it's berudim. So what is berudim? It's a hint about the body, the parts of the body. Right? Bet Yosef, she said, It's like the spine of the person. That from the spine you have all the uh, the nerve and everything that goes into the bed, to the rest of the body. The spine is the core, right? The core. Like the ship is uh, is is in the face of the the ship. And who is the ship? Who is the herd? It's Israel, right? Son Mariti. And the akod, it's like akod, it's like Hashem. And this is actually when they unite themselves with Hashem, and that's the beginning of the avoda of the slavery. So according to his holy word, we can say furthermore that it's a hint for three levels in the faith itself. So first, the faith in the in, in, in the brain, which is a simple one. And we should have it again. That makes sense. That's logical, etc., etc. But from that, you're going into the emunah of the left, the faith in the heart, which is more in the emotion. You know, this, this famous famous sentence that if you don't understand, I cannot explain you. Or you get it or not. <laughs> right, there's nothing here to, to 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 explain. That's the heart, and from there you go to the faith in the body. When even if you don't think about it, your body is acting according to the halacha. The tzaddikim used to go to sleep on the, I think, on the right side, and then they turn into left side. So this is how it's supposed to be. The body knows exactly what to do, but that's only because when they purify themselves, they refine themselves. So the body. Without bechirach of shit even, but he do what Hashem wants, Hashem's will, and that that faith needs to be surrounding us. Makifa, emuna makifa, the entire body, and to penetrate to the body, and then to actually to control the the pay, place of the desires. At shekol atzmotai tomar nashem ikamuch, even my bones, right? The bones, it's like it's an object, right? It's like a coral. It's something that. It grow, but it doesn't have a brain. It doesn't have anything from himself. Until the bones will say, who is like you, Hashem? Nobody. That's perfection in faith. Shlemut emuna. When it is surrounding the, the brain, the wisdom, and the heart, and the body. In, in, in the name, on behalf of the Tzadik, Rabbi Lev Meduker, he was the Talmud of the Magid, Magid Mezerich, I assume, Zichot HaGenenu, Sheyesh Emunah Tamuach, Veyesh Emunah Talev. So he said, there is the faith that we have in our brain and there is a faith that we have in our heart. <laughs> and the distance between them, it's like heaven and earth. That's the longest distance. And that's the thing, to really to have both of them and, and to control both and to let them to work together. Because sometimes if we are being controlled by our emotion, that's not good. And control only by our heart is also not good. But to have the, the, the synergy between them, that's the best thing. But he said by there, so according to that, there was another level. He said a divine level or a higher level, the third one, which is the emunah of the evarim, of the body. We just learned that even the body just feels the faith. And that's the perfection. But there, so according to that, the explanation when we said three times, right during Shabbat, Shabbat we said, Ve'achulu, Belel Shabbat Kodesh, at night time, we said, Ve'achulu Hashamayim, right? Kedaita Ve'aid, it's like a testimonial that you created the world Right in six days, right? All the creatures, 
ואשנה ואשלש עוד את כוסי, and I'm, I'm testifying, right, twice and triple on my, on my cup, on my, my kiddush, right? And this is the אמירת ויחולו. It's like rooting the אמונה, the faith, every time we say that. Because what do we say? We say, Hashem created the world, there is a creator, and therefore I'm obligated. Obligated to what? To what the creator gives us. He gives us the Torah, he gives us the, the mitzvot, the halachot, etc. And, and, that, and that's logic. ואחר כך בא לאמונת הלב, and then it will spread and it will go into the heart, and then it will spread from the heart to the body. And these are the three times that we have in Shabbat, which is the Shabbat Kodesh, the, the night time, right? And then the day time, and then we have the, the Rava Ravin, the time of the, the wheel of wheels, which is in the Seudah Shlishit. So in every, every uh, period of time of Shabbat, you have a special Seudah and a special prayer for that, right? Not like the Yom Tov, because if you, if you see um, the, the, the Pesach, the Shavuot, and Sukkot, the only thing that is, is different is the Chag HaSukkot, the Shmini HaTzeret, the Chag HaPesach, right? Chag Chirutenu, Chag Matan Torah. But the rest of the structure of the davening is the same words that you say. But Shabbat, no. Shabbat night time, right, is Ata Kidashta. And then at daytime, you have Ismach Moshe b'matnat chilko, right? And the third one, Yagel Yaakov, Ismach Yisrael, right? So it's a different tavening also for the Shabbat. And they are for the three level of emuna, the brain, the heart, and the body. Because having a faith is like nullifying, it's a bitul, that we never tell ourselves to Hashem completely, our brain, our wisdom, and even our, our, our feelings. To Hashem, that is our only Hashem. That's the absolute truth. That's the reality. And the rest is not. And that's our avoda of Shabbat Kodesh, to, to root it, to penetrate these three levels of emuna, one level at a time, one level at a time, until we'll get to the highest level, which are, we are mevatel ourselves to Hashem. And this is actually the unity of Sudash Lishit, because in Sudash Lishit, really, everything else is decoration. We just have to be together with Hashem. That's why we don't have much food. It's not because we are not hungry. It's because not, that's not the main thing. The main thing is to be with Hashem because this is the peak time. Similar to Yom Kippur. Yom Kippur, we're really uniting ourselves with Hashem. So we, that's why we are fasting. And we don't dress with the, with the leather, etc., etc. Mordechai, just move a little bit from there. I think you're in a, in a danger zone. Mm. Yeah. So yeah. the same way we found in the, in the Beta Migdash that they had three, three steps, three levels. The mm. Azara, Right, like the courtyard mm. and the and the altar, the mizbeach. Yeah, the mizbeach, I told you, right? The, 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 the mizbeach, bring a tissue, it's right? So so we have the azara, the courtyard, and the mizbeach, the altar, achitzon, and the echal and the kodesh kodashim, right? So they are, so the azara, the courtyard, and the altar, the mizbeach. This is this is one one step or one level. The Echal, the chamber, that was the second one, and the Kodesh HaKodeshim was the first one. That's the highest one. You have the Aron, you have the Kruvim, and the Kruvim actually indicating about the unity with the with Hashem. Kmochen b'Shabbat Kodesh, also in Shabbat Kodesh, right? Which is the Binyan Bet HaMikdash. We have three, the Lel, right? The night of Shabbat, and then the daytime, and then Shudash Lishit. So that's the whole thing. We're going back to... The Akudim, Nekudim, Ubrudim, right, which are three levels. Akud, tight yourself with Hashem. Nakud is like the 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 the, the spoil, the point in the heart. And the and the Brudim. So what, say that again? Say that again. The Nekudim, the Nekuda. It's like the Nekuda of the heart. The point in the heart, which is the, the emotion, the faith that we have in our heart. That's uh -huh. the Nekudim. The Akud is in the brain, it's the wisdom, it's the Akud, it's like you tight yourself with Hashem. Right, and then the brudim is the, the body, the body that we should have this three level of faith in our brain, in our heart, in our in our body. It's the same thing that you have three level in Shabbat Kodesh. You have the night time, the daytime, and Sudash Lashit, and Sudash Lashit is the peak. The same thing that you had in Beta Mikdash, you have the Azara and the Mizbeach, and you had the Echal, and then you have the Kodesh Kodashim. And we should be cleaving to Hashem and remember all of that. And we need to go into Shabbat and we need to go out from Shabbat, what's a Shabbos, that we have all this faith, a clear faith that that's it. We have Hashem, Hashem created the world, gave us Torah and mitzvot, and this is what was hinted for us in the Torah. Basically, in a, in a, in a deeper level, in the Kabbalistic thing, it's the same thing. 
Akud, it's like a, a certain uh, a spiritual world that is like a, like a nekuda, that everything is a shem. You can, you can think about uh, a black hole. Black hole is something that in, in physics is very diffi difficult to, to understand. It's something that have lots of mass and, and, and galaxies inside, but they are folding into one, one, one small little tiny thing. And that's actually everything. But then it's spread. And then you have the nekuda. The nekudot is like uh, many, many things broken into pieces. And the Buddhism is actually this this world. So basically, this is what Yaakov Avinu is teaching us in the Torah, that we have three levels of faith, the faith in our brain, the faith in the heart, and the faith in the body. And this is what we should have and re re refine ourselves into that level. And we have that in Shabbat. Thank you for listening. And it's almost Shabbat Shalom. Tomorrow we're not going to have a shiur because it's going to be Thanksgiving. So thank you, Hashem, for everything. Mm -hmm.